Hey, what's up you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Marvel Spider-Man Remastered video. And today what I got for you guys here is something that I called, something that I said would happen and people told me wouldn't happen. It's been officially announced earlier this morning that the two suits that we're gonna see in Spider-Man No Way Home later this month are coming to Marvel Spider-Man Remastered as part of a free update. And if you're just as excited about this news as I am, well then scroll down right now and hit that thumbs up button. If you're brand new and you wanna keep up to date, on everything Spider-Man related, I got you covered. Marvel Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man and Avengers, Spider-Man No Way Home, Spider-Man and Fortnite, it never ends and I got you on all that. So lastly, reminding you guys that I'm sponsored by Gamer Advantage. You can grab blue light blocking glasses like the ones that I am wearing right now and they are a lifesaver they have completely reduced eye strain for me so head to the link in the description box below grab yourselves a pair and use code caboose to check out for 10 percent off your order and with that being said let's get into this so much exciting news but also some bad news to get into okay so earlier this morning insomniac games just out of the blue tweeted this two new suits inspired by hashtag spider-man no way home exclusively in movie theaters december 17th are coming on december 10th to Marvel Spider-Man Remastered, only available on PlayStation 5 as part of Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales Ultimate Edition. And then with that, well, we got this little teaser trailer for Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, the Ultimate Edition that includes Marvel Spider-Man Remastered that gives us an in-game look at the two new suits from Spider-Man No Way Home. Check this out. Pete, does this job ever get easier? Some of it, yeah. Some things never get easier, though. The city's falling apart. I have to find some way to stop Dr. Octavius and the villains before this gets worse. Show's over, Lee. You look tired, Parker. How did I let this happen? We're not alone anymore, Pete. What do you owe the city, huh? I don't get to pick and choose when I'm spider -Man. Give up on this, young blood. My neighborhood. You can do this. Miles, you can do this. Hey, come on. I've never known you to give up. Okay, Pete. Yes, I got this. Hey, Jonah. Looking good. Very fast. Miles. Then we also got some official screenshots of both suits. First up, we got the integrated suit. And I gotta say, the more that I have seen from this, the more that I have really grown to like this costume. When it was initially revealed from the promo art for Spider-Man No Way Home, I wasn't feeling it at all. I thought that there was too much going on. It felt very busy. But when we got that brand new trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home, and we actually got to see the suit in motion in the film, and then now seeing it as a 3D render in Marvel Spider-Man, well, I gotta say, it does look pretty damn good good the black red and gold combo really mesh well together and i cannot wait to be using the iron spider legs with this costume it's gonna be so much fun then we also got the black and gold suit and from the get-go i had no problems with this costume i thought it looked badass i also love that they're keeping that little doctor strange gauntlet that spider-man has in the movie i'm not sure what he's using it for or how exactly he's going to utilize it but it's such a nice touch to have that in the game. It looks so cool. The black and gold here is amazing, and it's been heavily rumored that this is actually just his base Far From Home suit turned inside out. And if that's the case, that's a really interesting idea, and I wonder how that's gonna play out in Spider-Man No Way Home, which is in theaters in 11 days. I can't wait. But yes, there is some bad news with this. I am very excited, don't get me wrong. I can't wait to see these suits in game, and I'm really, really hyped to try them out, but, I do bear some bad news for you guys, unfortunately, and you may have already caught on to what it is. These new suits that we're getting, inspired by Spider-Man No Way Home, are unfortunately only going to be coming to Marvel Spider-Man Remastered on the PlayStation 5. And it doesn't look like this is going to be a repeat of past events where we got three new suits added into the game for Spider-Man Remastered when it was originally revealed, and then due to fan demand, it was added into Spider-Man PS4. This time around, it looks like Insomniac is sticking to their guns, and they do have an explanation as to why this is only going to be coming to the PS5. Here's what they said in response to some people on Twitter about why these suits 
are only coming to the remastered version. Since its 2018 release, we've updated Marvel's Spider-Man PS4 19 times, adding more suits and features than originally planned. Each patch has been more technically complex, especially with maintaining PS4 HD streaming performance. To ensure fans continue enjoying Marvel's Spider-Man on the PS4 at its optimal performance, we've made the difficult decision to release these new suits for Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered, where our PS5 engine allows us to update the game without jeopardizing player experience and listen I'm not gonna pretend to know what is being said here I have no idea how any of this stuff works on a technical level but it does sound like it makes sense and I mean if we look at Insomniac's track record they have been so kind to the fans and they have always tried to deliver the best experience for everybody so if they're saying that they had to make this difficult decision to add these suits only on the PlayStation 5 version and that was the only way that we were going to get these suits well then I guess that's the only way that they could have done it and it's unfortunate for the PlayStation 4 players but then again there's a lot of people out there I'm sure who are very excited for Marvel Spider-Man 2 that is going to be exclusive for the PlayStation 5 as well so hopefully you can get your hands on a PS5 very soon then you can grab that remastered version of Marvel Spider-Man and try out these new suits and also don't worry I got you covered I'll be making videos on these suits and showcasing them for you in motion so you can keep an eye on this channel if you don't have a ps5 but want to see what these suits look like believe me i feel bad i really really do but this is the decision that insomniac has made and they have provided a detailed explanation as to why and i guess with all that being said and now i want to kick it to you guys and let me know your thoughts on everything in the comment section below first of all what do you think about these brand new suits do you think they look cool in game are you excited to try them out if you have spider-man remastered on the PlayStation 5 and then also sound off with your thoughts in the comments as to what Insomniac's explanation was for why the suits aren't coming to the PS4 please keep it civil though all right and with that said if you enjoyed today's video if you could consider leaving a like rating on it it would show your support and I would really appreciate it I'm Caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter or join my discord those links are going to be in the description Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.